I live in New York, I have ties, whatever that means, to the Poetry Project, and I read every um, New, Year, New Year's Day, their long New Year's reading, and I wrote this poem for that a couple of years ago. It's a prose poem. Um, it's a little controversial, but okay. <laughs> you, you do not believe you are sexy. You do not believe you are beautiful. You believe you are intelligent, but sometimes the effort to convince others isn't worth it. You have cerebral palsy from an accident at birth. You walk with an awkward gait. You would slurred speech and drool from time to time. Your body sometimes moves joltingly. You cannot carry a full glass of water across the room without spilling it. You do not believe you are sexy. Then something changes. You meet someone. This person thinks you're hot, and your ever patient husband decides you can have an open marriage. <laughs> this someone torments you. The level of confusion and passion makes you want to kill yourself, or kill him, or kill random people, and. <laughs> It ends badly, <laughs> but it's not so bad after all. You will always love him, and this person made you believe you were sexy. He forced you to believe it, and now you believe it. This person, your lovers, your writing, your husband, your child, your four animals, your best friend, Andrew Baker, your nutty Dharma teacher, all of them have instilled a sense of agency, and this agency is strong. One day you go to a movie. It's been a stressful time. Your in-laws just left and you itch all over. This movie is called The Wolf of Wall Street. You love Martin Scorsese, so you have a lot of hope for this film. It turns out to be a boring movie about hookers and drugs and overall debauchery. Then the shit hits the fan. The main character's 25 quaaludes kick in. He goes into what he calls the cerebral palsy phase. He falls on the floor in writhing spastic movements. The rendition is dead on. It looks like he spent weeks studying cerebral palsy. He's got the speech and drooling and everything down. This scene gives the l l hardest laugh in the film. Literally 400 people are laughing their heads off in a theater in Williamsburg. You turn to your husband. You ask, is this funny? Your typically non-emotional husband looks very upset. You mean he looks horrified. You begin to panic. This is not funny. Your husband pulls you out of the theater. You get outside, you cry a little, you cannot speak. Your husband begs you to speak. 
you were on the 62 bus not speaking. This is the first time you've ridden the 62 bus not speaking. You look at your silent hands. You are afraid to move your hands because the way you move your hands is ugly. You are afraid to move your legs because people might laugh. You never want to hear your own voice again. So you want to remain motionless forever. You were right back there, right back in that place. So many people have worked so hard to convince you you belong in that place of silence. You do not believe you were sexy. Thank you.